<coughs> okay. Oh, time starts already. Okay. So no more jokes about Zoom sessions. I'll give you 30 more seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, talking I'm talking about is about DNA genealogy. And for those of you that have no freaking clue what I'm talking about, there is a short intro on that part as well. Live demo at the end. And everything has been built with Meteor. I see already at least one person with a Meteor t-shirt. Really cool. So as promised, um, I'm not sure what you know about DNA and, and all that. Uh, there's, there's three different types of DNA that we have. Uh, we have the Y-DNA, which is something that builds people like me, right? Opposite from uh, those other 50% of the population that doesn't have a Y, right? Um, so only us male have the Y-DNA. Uh, the MT DNA is the mitochondrial. Everybody has it, right? Um, that one has been used basically to follow your female line, so your mom's mom, 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 right? Until we end up with Eve. Uh, the Y DNA actually brings us to Adam. So this is about currently they're they're still not sure how far we go back with that one, but it's about 330,000 years, plus minus. So pretty far back. And then we have the autosomal DNA or AT DNA, uh, which is basically all your ancestors, almost all your ancestors. Uh, there's there's a reason because it's all um, randomized. You will lose some of the information. Uh, which, for example, if some of you would be interested, did a test and, and look at your ancestral composition, which, by the way, there is no pure race. For those that don't understand that, we are all mixed, right? You will find that out. There is no single person, I think, in the world that is really, really pure, unless you're living in a cave for the last 10,000, 20,000 years, right? And you always marry your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It happens, it happens. Okay. <laughs> So there's, there's two graphs if you're interested in. Everybody knows that we actually started, sorry, this is, this is Adam. Uh, we started right here, right? Which is another thing that some of those uh, races don't understand. We were all black ones, right? We just changed our color in a slightly bit uh, brighter sense over the years. And then we just populated over there, obviously all those Asians in the room. You guys have been pretty good. You immediately marched here, took a shortcut, right? Well, guys like me, actually, we went up north. And if there is somebody here from the US and South America, you really went the long way, right? You went all around uh, Bering Street, then you waited for the Ice Age to stop, and then you went all the way down to South America. Crazy dudes. Same for the Australians in here. You also went very, very far. Okay, so uh, TLDR um, is about the next generation of DNA tools. Next generation means there is already some other tools existing, but I think uh, something like that is actually missing. So how does it work? And you will find this uh, on the website as well. I did actually um, did build it myself, run an illustration on 99designs. And this is the winner that came up with. It's very, very simple. You get a DNA test. So you either spit into a tube, or you actually get a small swab, and you just scratch your inside of your, of your cheek, right? And you send it in. A couple of weeks later, they're going to give you some results back. So uh, there is a couple of companies there that you can do. There's three main ones in the world. Uh, all in the US, Family Tree DNA, Ancestry, and uh, 23ME, which you might have heard about. Then um, this tool is actually updating you automatically on the so-called matches. But matches you don't necessarily mean that you're being closely related, blood related. It can be a wrong match as well. Those of you that know confusion matrix, they know there is uh, wrong positives and wrong negatives. So that is wrong. There's a thing called triangulation. We will show that later what it means, but basically only those that have been triangulated are your blood relatives within the last, let's say, 200, 300, 400 years. Then there is some, somebody said, actually, one of the beta users said this is, this is a Facebook for family. Um, so there is a, a closed user group where you discuss uh, certain topics with your family because a lot of adoptives and orphans are actually very, very interested in that stuff. And that is obviously a very, very sensitive uh, area, right? Because not everybody wants uh, to find out if he has any children or not, right? Or the children actually find him later on. Versus the interest, obviously, of that person to find out who are the real uh, biological father or, or real biological parents in, in the sense of orphans. Then it locates all of this on a map uh, with the time scale. And that makes it easier when we just say, like, oh, look. I mean, more or less the same uh, time period, and, and we were been pretty close. So maybe that's actually how we are related to each other, right? And 
The main purpose is to solve the puzzle pieces together. It is a puzzle. It's a very, very complicated puzzle, I can tell you. And then you are extending and verifying your family tree. If you remember, the, the orphans, uh, they start basically with a, with a blank page. They don't even have any cousins. No aunts, no aunties that you can call or whatever, right? And then the whole thing is about solving and optimizing it so that you have more time to communicate with them. So when I evaluated this idea on SurveyMonkey uh, last August, I came up with 237 people that filled out the questionnaire. And amazingly, 74% said, yes, I would be willing for that. And I was being completely blown away. I thought, if at all, I'm, I'm pretty lucky if it's the other way around, 26%. So 74% is like, wow, <coughs> oops, we missed our supreme leader. Um, I asked them at the end, it was six questions only. I didn't really explain. You, you know much more about the solution than them. And at the end, I asked them, are you willing to give me your email address and I keep you updated? 138 people gave me their email address. And that's, again, is a wow, right? <clears throat> In my opinion. So, uh, well, there's a lot of talk about MVP or not MVP. Um, I read a good quote which basically says an MVP, if it's not finished within one month, it's not an MVP. So this is now, uh, we're back in June, I started in, October, in August, so it's pretty sure it's not an MVP, right? Uh, but I knew relatively uh, well what I wanted to do. From the potential, there is more than three, this is actually an outdated number, is I think now 3.2 to 3.4 3 million uh, DNA tests out there. Not people that made tests, uh, that is a bit less, but the potential has been pretty big. So, finally stopping all that and coming to what is uh, our <coughs> common interest. So from the architecture, um, it has been built for the big screen. You will see why that is. Uh, also because actually most of the end users are elderly people, even older than me. So that means big fonts, black and white, for example. It works on, on mobile tablet, but it doesn't work. It's not specifically been looked at. So one of the principles of Meteo is that it all takes care of the, the responsive part. Uh, also, it comes with MongoDB right, as a database on the end. I know it's not ideal. Uh, I know there are better NoSQL solutions out there, which I used in the past, but there are some things that are going on right now um, with GraphQL and so on to solve that problem as well. Then <coughs> I did something which maybe <coughs> not many people have done. I split the front end and the back end. There's two separate apps. There's a pure front end app and there's a pure <coughs> back end app. And the reason, the main reasons are the three S that I showed up here is security, the scaling, and actually the size. The size meaning in how much data actually your, your, um, your users have to download on the front end. Right? Because 80% uh, of the customers are in the US and, and I can guarantee you our internet is 10 times more supreme than over there. Right? And Donald Trump won't change that. <laughs> Uh, the scaling is, is interesting because the backend is actually a job worker. It submits job. Actually, right now, there should be some jobs still working because I just started. And it, it does that all the time, right? Until there's no job and then it waits. So it's very easy to scale that up if there is ever going to be too slow, right? But I don't have to do that. On the front end, if there is a lot of users, then obviously sometimes you have to uh, upgrade a bit earlier and scale it up. Database is separate as well. All of that is hosted because honestly, I'm not a sysadmin and I don't want to deal with all this stuff. Communication is via DDP, which is uh, something that Meteo actually invented. Principles behind is publication subscription. So on your client, you're, you're publicizing a certain amount of data that you want to show down to fields and down to other filtering criteria. And on the front end, you are subscribing to that. As soon as there is an update, automatically your data is been showing on the front end on any connected devices. It's always up to date. It works just. I mean, if you haven't tried Meteor, just give it a try. Uh, they have some examples there. It takes about 20 minutes to get it up into the cloud, deployed, including user accounts and everything, if you follow that. So learning, um, I can show you some screens. Uh, if you're interested later on, just approach me. Um, Compose IO is where I run my database. Uh, these guys are really, really good. Rocket. Um, I was first on Modulos, uh, changed to Galaxy, which is actually owned by Meteor Development Group. I'm not too happy about their support. Uh, left some comments in the forum there. Uh, as a paying customer, I think I'm allowed to, to say what is shitty. Um, so uh, you can see the differences actually from the information that you get is the worst. 
at Galaxy. But at least it runs. Modulus changed their scripts, and the problem is that the data couldn't upload anymore. My script wasn't uploading, not running. Right? And I'm not going and, and updating any kind of scripts or whatever kind of stuff. That's not mine if I run it. So we did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of testing here. I used MailChimp and I, for example, I tested, uh, this is on, on uh, testing different subject lines. So this gave 76.5% versus 60% <coughs> just by changing the subject line, right? Response on it. I tested different timings and this goes from 47% to 64%. Again, just by sending the same email, fully identical at a different kind of time. Just play around with, find out where your, your people being interested in. This is a small scale with 140 people that I mentioned earlier on, the beta testers. I asked them about features because I want to implement something and build something actually that these people are going to use, not that what necessarily I think has been the same, right? So there's a different, there was a different view from, from my perspective, but this is what in the future people will be paying for. So obviously I, I build what they want, not what I want. And I did, uh, I said before, I did an illustration on 99 designs. <coughs> Completely different. This is actually the winner. Uh, this is the one that I like more. Again, I asked all my beta testers. 80% voted here, 20% there. <coughs> so, as good as this guy was, it's a complete comic. He did it for the first time. Pretty amazing. So this is, by the way, is 599, 599 US dollar gets you there. Um, pretty amazing stuff what you can find over there. And I test also A and B messages. Again, big differences here. Conversion rate, 33% improvement, right? I mean, just like the main message is testing, testing, testing as you develop in order to find out. Okay, so where are we now? Uh, I have about 80 testers out of these 140 people. Uh, the beta launched on 1st of June. Um, and by the way, I hired, or I'm in the process, I mean, I offered already to the full stack uh, developers, so if you by chance, because I know that nobody looks up, Meetup has actually discussion forums and I posted the jobs there. None of you looked it up because you don't know, but if you do, it's too late already, okay? Sorry, <laughs> higher. that's the main message. Sorry for that. And um, yeah, what else do we have? Probably best if we just finally go into the app. Okay, this is how it looks. Um, the address, by the way, is DNA genealogy dot tools. I know you guys understand why it's dot tools. My uh, beta users who are a bit older, like I said, have still some problems why there is no dot com. Right? <laughs> <laughs> dot tools and com and so on. Enter it. Um, so if you're interested to follow it up, right, and you click on this, then you get a message. <coughs> leave, your, leave your details there. Uh, you will get updates from it. Normal feature, uh, everything that has been built, standard passage, package is actually this uh, user accounts. It comes with Meteor, you don't have to do anything. This is how it looks. <coughs> Sorry, just not updating this. Um, so what I'm using is the principle of cards. Uh, this is a toaster message that comes in because one of those unique problems is that I have two different applications. So how do they talk to each other? via DDP, yes, but how do they talk to the front end to the user, right? Because the job, the back end is a job worker, right? He does a job and what does he do then, right? He, he can tell the front end, update the screen, display new cards and all this kind of stuff like it's doing right now, right? But the user is sitting there and says like, why is nothing happening? He clicks and clicks and clicks and thinks the application has crashed or whatever, but it hasn't, right? He doesn't understand the principle that whatever he does is being pushed there, and if there's many users, it gets executed, but it might take some longer time. Okay, so, that's me, by the way. Can you stop the recording, please? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention. Uh, the reason is because we, this is some live data, um, so we have actually 